Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will talk about Barry Busen, our first key figure of the Copenhagen School of International Relations. An emeritus professor of international relations at the London School of Economics, honorary professor at Copenhagen, Jilin and China Foreign Affairs Universities, a senior fellow at LSE Ideas, and a British Academy Fellow, Barry Buzan has received his degrees from the University of Columbia and LSE. Buzan is a key figure of both English School and Copenhagen School of International Relations. In terms of his contributions to the English School, it is argued that he pioneered the idea that English School should demonstrate how it relates to the world society as well as providing a background of how and why states form this society in the first place. Busan argues that the English school is probably the best theory of international relations to understand the social structure in the world. On the other hand, by suggesting that security needs to be analyzed in different sectors of society, such as economic and societal or identity-related ones, in addition to the military sector, Busan largely contributed to the development of Copenhagen School in the late 1980s. If you'd like to know more about how it explains the world politics, you can check out our video about Copenhagen School by clicking on the card popped up on the upper right corner of this video. In addition to securitization theory, Busan again together with his colleague Oli Weaver, focused on the concept of regionalism to explain the world order in the post-Cold War period. In their book Regions and Powers, The Structure of International Society, first published in 2003, Busan and Weaver introduced the regional security complex theory and argued that the world is likely to be shaped according to the regionalism principle in the post-Cold War order. According to this principle, geographically closer states would form security clusters to protect themselves from external threats within their region, because threats travel shorter distances faster. In this new security order where Russia as a superpower is eliminated by its counterpart United States, the only remaining superpower is not likely to hold on much longer since this new world order is not suitable for superpowers. What the world can expect to have in the future is multiple great powers and regional powers all cooperating and competing at the same time for security and protection purposes. So that brings us to the end of this extremely short video about Barry Buzan. We will continue with Oli Weaver as our second key scholar of the Copenhagen School in our next video. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it, and for our upcoming videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.